And on to our breaking news. No clear intent or initiative to honestly probe the alleged extrajudicial killings, despite its claims of a working justice system. The International Criminal Court's principal argument in rejecting the Philippine government's appeal to end or suspend the ICC's pre-trial chamber probe on the thousands of deaths in the Duterte administration's illegal drugs war. An anticlimactic decision many in the current government expected and rejected. As we hear more voices, speaking out and this report by Luisa Erispe. The International Criminal Court pre-trial chamber will continue with the investigation on the alleged extrajudicial killings that happened during the anti-illegal drug campaign of the Duterte administration. This after the appeals chamber of the International Court junked the petition of the Philippines seeking to suspend the probe. Three out of five or majority of the ICC judges voted to reject the country's appeal, presiding Judge Mark Perin de Brasambot cited, This is because the Philippines failed to determine or indicate objectifiable evidence in its arguments. The majority finds that the Philippines has failed to demonstrate to show that investigations or prosecutions are taking place or have taken place. Therefore, the majority rejects the second ground of appeal. The majority finds that the pre-trial chamber did not err in law. For the reasons stated more fully in the written judgment, the appeals chamber by majority rejects the appeal and confirms the impugned decision. On the other hand, the ICC minority considered the argument that the International Tribunal has no jurisdiction over the Philippines, citing the country's withdrawal from the Rome Statute since 2019. Only this was not fully established by the Office of the Solicitor General on its submitted appeal. A human rights group in the Philippines said the decision is a welcome development and urged President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. to follow through the decision of the ICC. However, the Office of the Solicitor General believes otherwise and expressed dismay over the decision. The Office of the Solicitor General is disappointed in today's judgment issued by the Appeals Chamber of the ICC. Refused to recognize the Philippine government's primary and sovereign right to investigate serious crimes in derogation of the complementarity principle so fundamental to the working of the international criminal justice system of which the ICC forms part. The minority, as I stated earlier, clearly set out that there was no jurisdiction and indeed under the statute provisions of the Rome Statute, in particular Article 127, there are no cooperation obligations on the Philippines since its withdrawal. The ICC prosecutor cannot compel any Filipino to answer and face scrutiny after the appeals chamber's decision, although of course the prosecution is authorized to resume its investigation. On the other hand, Senator Baton de la Rosa, who was the chief of the Philippine National Police during the previous administration, somehow mocked the ICC's resolution. Did ma, did ma. Hindi ako na surprise, at hindi ako concerned, hindi ako, hindi ako nababagabag. Uh, alam ko naman talaga kung disilido sila na ituloy nila. Hindi naman tayo sakop nila. Senator Christopher Bongo, who used to be special assistant to the former president, believes that the matter should have been dealt with through the Philippine law and that the other countries do not have the right to dictate Filipinos how to govern themselves. Luisa Erispe for The Nation.